Hello and welcome to Dirt Road Believer. It is December the 14th. We have like 10 days until Christmas. It's getting real. So I hope you are having a very merry Christmas season and it is time for some giveaways. We do our drawings for giveaways from the previous week on Tuesdays. So we have four gifts to give away and then two more giveaways for today. All right, this is, this is the organization of a mom right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's start with, I believe Tuesday's giveaway was the toothbrush and the extra large um, long sleeve merch that looks like this, the Christmas logo. So let's start with the toothbrush and see who won that. I don't have anybody to help me today, so let's see. Beth Pelham won the toothbrush. So congratulations, Beth. Let me leave that out so I can remember this later. Um, now for the extra large um, Dirt Road Believer Christmas t-shirt. Let's draw for that. Thank you to everyone who entered to win and keep doing it. By the way, we give away more than one gift each episode, so you're welcome to enter to win all of them each week. Kathy Green won the extra large Dirt Road Believer uh, long sleeve t-shirt. So congratulations, Kathy. Now, this was Thursday's episode. We gave away two pair of the world's softest socks. Love these socks. Let's shake it up really, really good and see who's going to have some cozy toesies this Christmas. <laughs> Who is it? Wendy Price. Congratulations. The comfy world's softest socks belong to you now. And lastly, uh, we gave away a large um, red, looks like this, but it's a long sleeve t-shirt. Let's see who won that one. Mix, 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 draw, draw, draw. Kelly Stamey. Guys, congratulations to all of you. Um, I'll be getting these to you this week. And now for today's giveaway. I figured since we have 10 days till Christmas, we need to do something pretty big. So we have the unicorn of the merch today. The, the only one like it. I love this one. I don't even have this one. It is the green hoodie. I love this color. You see me wear my green t-shirt all the time that has the other logo on it, but this is just beautiful. This is such a pretty green. I don't know how it shows up on camera, but love, love, love this hoodie. And like I said, I wish it were mine, but it's gonna be some one of yours. It is a size medium. So if you want to enter to win the unicorn, the medium green hoodie, then you just comment to this video either on YouTube or Facebook merch and you will be entered to win. The drawing will be next Tuesday. Our other giveaway, we have a lot today. In this little envelope, $50 gift card to Gaga's Boutique in Somerville, Georgia. So if you are in the Somerville area, you're gonna want this. It is 50 bucks, it has it on the back. And Gaga's, if you've never been, they have the most beautiful clothing, jewelry, um, they have makeup there, it's shoes, purses, like good stuff. So um, if you want to enter to win, just comment Gaga, G-A-G-A and you will be entered to win the Gaga's $50 gift certificate. Thank you so much to Ginger at Gaga's for donating that $50 gift card. And if you win this, you're gonna have fun doing some holiday shopping. You may not even holiday shop. You'll probably just buy something for yourself. Um, either way, let's get to some more giveaways for today. All right, there is, um, an online boutique, it's called Spring Creek Boutique, and Samantha Fowler has um, made, made some donations to our giveaway that you're gonna love. 
Um, we're gonna save one for Thursday, but let's look at what we're giving away today. She has these cute uh, t-shirts. This describes some of this, me included. Holiday hot mess. <laughs> I know some of you ladies can identify with that this time of year. So um, she has donated, um, gosh, I think five uh, different t-shirts and they range in size, they go from small all the way up to double XL. So if you wanna enter to win this, then just comment holiday hot mess and then put the size that you want uh, out beside holiday hot mess and you will be entered to win. So gosh, that's a lot of giveaways today, guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get into our quick little video for today. Um, we had our Christmas program at church this past Sunday, and the kids kept asking, one in particular, are we going to be on YouTube? <laughs> so, sure, sure, you can be on YouTube. Anyway, this is one of those things that we start practicing in September, and the kids have worked so hard, and um, they always do such a good job. And so, enjoy this quick little video, and then I will see you back here for today's devotion. Let me see your costume. Hey, I'll be camera. I'll be the cameraman. Looking good. You're the, you're, I'll be the cameraman there. Will you? I mean, maybe. I'll be there. I'll see how we both do it. Now, if I entrust you with this. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah. No playing with it. Are you going to edit in the back? Yeah. What did you say? Are you going to edit? <laughs> I'm not editing that part. Oh, there's a camera. Yes. I want to be. Uh, Ayla, you are Yes, he is. He just got here. Trey. Trey's here. The eight powers upon us. Now that sword is plastic, so it will break before time. You mess with it. Okay. Paige. Paige. Are you I'm okay if we're going to go through yours? I'd like Paige. Hey, Alright, you can put that on my I'm on camera. I mean, you Look there. She says your name and you walk in the door. Look. Joseph. Joseph is the camera. Oh, look. That's perfect. <laughs> he wore gray. You are so smart. But then I'll read I mean, you never know. Second. Okay, are we? I want to be on camera. Hello. Well, you're about to be because I'm about to do I don't want to. Okay. 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 Yay. Oh, what just happened? The camera just turned off by itself. No, touch the back. Touch no, the, touch the, the back. Okay, what? Back. Your mic's right. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's just like sleeping, so it saves whatever. Then why'd you have to wake it up? You have to wake it up sometimes. I'm not like y'all. <laughs> She pinned it last time. No, I'm going to call I got a big Hold on. I have too many people. I have too many people touching me. Hey, 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 I called but you Zeke. Really right 
water isn't wet because there's no water on the water. Water can't get on water. So instead of discussing water whether water, water, water is wet, you pour water on your finger. Your finger's wet. Water is not wet. Unless you pour water. The more you know. You need to slow down and say your words. Don't rush it. When you're singing, you need to sing out so they can hear you. Like your painting, like, like, like when he comes up, can you like brush? Oh, oh. It's like you brush past. Yeah. Yeah. Before you speak, make sure the microphone is in your mouth. Another Christmas program for the books. They did a great job. I was so proud of them. But I, some of the boys helped me load everything up and get the stage taken down afterwards. And I happened to look over while I'm driving home, and this is what I see. They buckled baby Jesus up in the front seat. <laughs> That's why it's so much fun working with kids, because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> follow Dirt Road Believer regularly, you know that um, life is full <laughs> in the Lee family. Um, and there's sometimes these devotions, I just get to sneak away and uh, do them. So this is Saturday for me and we're at, in Gatlinburg, Tennessee at a wrestling tournament. We wrestled last night. We're going to wrestle again today. So anyway, they're doing weigh-ins and warm-ups, so I snuck away to come out here. It's a beautiful sports complex um, called Rocky Top, but just look, I mean, look at this mountain range back behind me. What a lovely place um, to be this morning, and it's unseasonably warm. It's probably, I don't know, 65, 70 degrees, but very breezy, so <laughs> um, the hair might not look this way. Well, there we go doesn't already look good so bear with me with that but um okay so today's devotion we are taking from a snippet of the Christmas story in Luke chapter 2 and this is verse 13 and 14 and you may hear some cars go by too because everybody's coming in for the tournament um but this says suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to people he favors. Okay, we know this. We've memorized this. We've said this verse since we were a child. Here come the, um, at the coming of the Messiah, there is a multitude of angels, and they are seen by the shepherds, and they are praising God, and here's what they come to say. This is what we're keying in on today. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to people he favors. So the Messiah came to bring peace. Peace to who? Peace to those he favors. Let's key in on that just a little bit. So I guess that begs the question, so who does God favor? Well, when this miraculous event occurred in history and heaven literally came down to earth by his son Jesus, everyone, everyone on earth was favored because he came not for a select few. It says that he came for all mankind to reconcile us to the heavenly father through the forgiveness of our sins. So that favor is available accessible to everyone. However, we know everyone doesn't receive that gift of Christmas, um, the free gift of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And then I want us to kind of skip ahead to later on in Jesus' life. Um, you know, when he was a baby, we can, he was unable to speak, okay? He grew up just like everyone else. So he didn't have the ability to speak. So when we look at the Christmas story, we're not looking at it through Jesus' eyes yet. We're looking at it through the eyes of the Holy Family, the shepherds, um, everyone that surrounded that event. But then Jesus grows up and he has his own voice and his own ministry. So let's see what he has to say about peace. 
So we skip over to John 14, just one verse, verse 27. These are the words of Jesus, and this is just before he goes to the cross. And he says, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not the fragile peace of the world. So I love, I love that, um, the way he puts that in most translations. He calls the peace of the world fragile. So what is fragile peace? Fragile peace is the peace that you get from living in comfort, having, um, knowing you're gonna have your next meal, knowing you're going to, you have money in your bank account. You know, children who are behaving well, <laughs> those, those things are the peace that the world has to offer. But Jesus says, although it is peace, although you may lay your, there are lots of people who lay their head down at night and feel perfectly at peace. It is mercy. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Fragile peace. <laughs> um, good timing, Lord. Okay, so let me block the wind. Can I just please use that illustration <laughs> when we talk about fragile peace? So, rocking along, doing my Devo, and it's everything seemed good. And then that gust of wind came to blow everything I had away. That's how the peace of the world is, guys. It's there, it's secure, it's giving us comfort, everything seems fine, and then suddenly, boom, one thing happens. It can be one very small thing, and it rocks a person's peace. It shakes it, and all of a sudden, it's not there. No more, no more uh, nights, you know, on your pillow all night. You're worrying, you're anxious, you're what's gonna happen. And I'm gonna turn around because this view is much better than a, an electrical box. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> this is a little bit of an off-road um, devotion here, guys. Sorry about that. But fragile peace, it is like glass. It can be, um, you know, beautifully, hanging on a tree but if it hits the ground if, if that tree gets shaken that ornament hits the ground it is going to shatter into a million pieces um i equate fragile peace like this it's similar to you know walking on a thin sheet of ice it may look solid it may look stable but when something cracks Even if you can hear this video with all this wind so Christians here is the peace of God that he offered and made available to all mankind through his son Jesus Christ it is unshakable it is not uh, something you have to work 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 for and no matter what happens there is a calm within you there is a constant calm and peace within you that is unmatched. Nothing in the world can touch it because anything, um, any resemblance of peace that the world offers, it could be here today and gone tomorrow. And when it goes, that peace breaks as well. So guys, I encourage you this time of year, evaluate, where are you in your peace with God? Hey guys, don't forget to enter to win those awesome prizes. Good luck and until next time, slow down, take the dirt road, believer.